What's up guys, my name is Chris, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial with Adobe After Effects uh, on how to create a 2D pop type effect with the Trim Paths tool. Um, this I'm pretty sure could be done an easier way than how I would do it, but I'm going to show you the way I do it. Uh, so I'm just going to create a new composition quickly, uh, we'll make about 3 seconds long. Uh, 30 FPS. And 1280 by 720. There you go, put on like a dark red colour. There we go. So I'm just going to have that as that for now. Um, and then literally just right click in down by the timeline, go to New, Shape Layer. And I'm just going to change the colour of my stroke to a white ish colour. There we go, I have it on that. Um, and for this, all you need to be using is a shape layer, the pen tool and trim paths and uh, your rotate button so uh, what you're going to do, you're just going to find the middle of your canvas put one line, put one point sorry uh, and hold shift and draw a line up like so so then when you zoom out and do that uh, if we click off there you will just have a line uh, now that isn't going to pop by itself so you're going to click your shape layer again and you're going to go to add like the add with like a little triangle button next to it uh, and you're going to go down to trim paths so you're just going to click that and then in your shape layer it will pop up with the trim paths one and from now on it's really easy you just lower the end to 100 to 0% keyframe them both go forward about 5 frames then put them both to 100 and then go forward about five frames again and drag the end one five frames so if I clear this back now you can see there is a line that moves across the screen uh, now in order to make this look a bit more realistic you can add some motion blur which makes it look a bit better um, but obviously you won't see the full potential of this until it's completely rendered and stuff like that um, so to create the pop as you can tell that's just a single line and just looks like a bit of a snake really like the game snake from a Nokia phone uh, it looks really shit to be quite frankly true that made no sense but well um, yeah so now it's just a case of duplicating so control D hitting R um, saying 30 and then hitting R again control D again and then R turn that to 60 I'm just going to do this for 180 I think put that on 90 and then it's just process of repetition now this is where I think it probably could be done easier than the way I do it um, if you do have a way that if you do know a way that could be done easier feel free to let me know because this is really tedious having to do this I just put that on 180 and if I close that now and if you watch this back there we go it's a nice little pop animation uh, what you can go forward and do is maybe move that last 100% from 10 frames maybe to about 8 8 or 7 so if I do that now you will see that it will look a lot nicer and does look a lot more like a pop but just for tutorial purposes not having to go through and change everything I'm going to keep it on a uh, 10 frame long animation because realistically 10 frames is not very long at all so it will be moving a lot faster than this um, I can also, I'm also going to be showing you how to create a, like, a squiggle type trim path thing so I'll do that down here so all it is is just create a squiggle like that and like that no. there we go uh, and then it's the same thing go to add trim paths uh, we'll put that down here and you're just going to go to the trim path area set that to not keyframe them both go for five frames both to 100 now this time I'm going to go for three th frames so to 0 0.8 or 8 frames then and there we go so now if we watch all this back you can see down here your squiggle line um, it's really nice and that pop in the middle 
Uh, with this line, if you add some motion blur, it is really nice looking because it just flows. So yeah, that's been how to create a pop within After Effects. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, just whack a like or a comment down below. Um, so yeah, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.